So, Danny, what kind of a witness is Hope Hicks? And so different from all of the other witnesses, the other eight witnesses that the prosecution has brought forth so far. I'm betting Hope Hicks is a good witness for the prosecution, a strong witness because, number one, they're calling her. But number two, we already know she doesn't have the same credibility and morality issues as some of these other witnesses, uh, whether that be Keith Davidson, Michael Cohen, or even David Pecker. Uh, she may be a very effective witness because she's someone who was just an observer. Now, David Pecker said, at least as to one of the meetings, Hope Hicks was in and out. And maybe that's David Pecker's memory. But what you find is that that administrative person who's in and out is often listening, especially when very important people are meeting about very important things. They probably hear more than you expect them to or that David Pecker may have expected Hope Hicks heard. So we know she has good information for the prosecution. Otherwise, she wouldn't be here on direct examination right now. And I think we're going to be surprised by some of her information simply because I don't think she was as willing to reveal it as, say, some of the other witnesses in this case whether that be Michael Cohen or Stormy Daniels. Michael Cohen's story, we've pretty much already heard almost everything he's going to testify to, I imagine. Hope Hicks, I don't think we have. She doesn't want to be there, uh, and so she doesn't have the same credibility challenges. So I expect she's going to be a solid witness for the prosecution. Solid witness for the prosecution. And um, how is it looking uh, just outside the courthouse, uh, Vaughn, when you're seeing what exactly is happening inside? Right. Hope Hicks is, is somebody here. You know, when we talk about Donald Trump's orbit over the last decade politically, we have watched so many advisors and aides meet his scorn, thrown uh, from the outside, be repudiated by the former president, but in turn also make uh, clear to the public at large the threat that they believe that Donald Trump is politically and also existentially to the country. Hope Hicks is not one of those people. Hope Hicks is somebody who has not done a public interview. She left the White House in 2018 after meeting with congressional investigators who were, re who were investigating potential uh, uh, Russia links to the Trump campaign. And they did ask her as part of that testimony about the Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal arrangements. And it was uh, uh, acknowledged by Hope Hicks during that testimony that she would sometimes tell white lies in short order after uh, it was made clear that she had uh, talked to congressional investigators. She left the White House. She did, as Carol outlined, return in late 2020 to join the White House again here. But she is somebody, you know, despite having, as she just said, uh, in her own testimony right now inside of this courthouse that she hasn't talked to Trump since the summer of 2022. She is somebody, though, who has not ever, uh, uh, you know, received uh, attacks from Donald Trump on a social media account or anything. Somebody who is a close confidant. Back in 2015, 2016, I was on the campaign trail and Hope Hicks, along with the likes of Corey Lewandowski and Keith Schiller, was part of a very small group of individuals that had the trust of Donald Trump and campaigned on the road with him. He had a very small operation. And so eight years, nine years later here, to have this moment come down to her testifying in front of her former boss, who our team inside is characterizing as not smiling, but watching intently to the beginning uh, statements from her testimony, it's really a, a, a remarkable turn from where we were one decade ago.